Waking up this morning without her. You know, it's my first morning. And <laughs> I was just like, man, wow. <laughs> wow. It has been a lot. It has been a long road. It has been tough. It has, I, I have seen happy days. I have seen happy moments. I have, I have gone through bitter moments. I have gone through a lot of tears. I have gone through a lot of work. Oh my gosh. Yes. But, you know, today I feel like just letting out my hair. <laughs> yeah, and it feels good, you know. So, I woke up yesterday morning with my... So I woke up yesterday morning by my mom calling me, right? She is on her bed and I am on my bed, right? And we are in the same room because, you know, with everything I had taken her to stay in my room, right? So if there's anything I needed was to do in the night, I could easily do it. We could move her and, you know, all of that. And... I remember that on Sunday, because yesterday was Monday, and on Sunday morning, Sunday morning, going into the day, I realized that, you know, she was saying a few things that, you know, that were off. So she was looking at the curtain, and there were flowers on it, and she was saying, then look, I see men, I see men, on. I see men, man, see the men there? Yes, I see them. <laughs> she said, look good if you don't see them. You're saying that they're not there, look good, see them there? <laughs> so I was saying, hmm, based on everything that was happening, I know that there was a lack of oxygenation. There was a lack of oxygen within the entire body because of the the damage and the difficulty that you know she was going through based on how the the rib and everything was coming down on the organs and the lungs so you know she was saying all of that and I was saying no no mom is the curtain is flowers flowers that you love <laughs> and she was saying nah they are men <laughs> and I was like mom don't worry yourself man don't worry yourself you know, not to be bothered, you're okay, I'm right here, <laughs> you know, and I remember another time, mark you, it's difficult for her to get up sometimes because, you know, of the, the of how brittle the bones are, and, and, and th at times, at times, when I am, you know, moving her, you will hear the bones, you know, going tick 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 because of how brittle they are and uh, you know the movements will cause all of that and I was just fascinated by the fact that she got up when I was not in the room on Sunday she got up from her bed and her bed is much higher than mine so she got up from her bed and went over my bed all by herself she didn't use her walking stick she didn't use anything and I was fascinated I said really okay then and then when I came in she was saying where is her bed? She want to go on her bed. I'm saying, yeah. I think mom is kind of hallucinating. But, you know, <laughs> that's okay. And Monday morning, what happened is that Monday morning, we got up and, yeah, Monday morning, we got up by, I got up by her calling me. And by this, her, her speech was kind of, you know, um, it was not clear. It was kind of, uh, muffled. It wasn't clear. And she said, um, she wants to go to the bathroom. And I said, bathroom, mommy, where you want to go to the bathroom? She said, where is the door? And I showed the door. I said, you ready to go? And she said, yes. And I remember just lifting her up by the, by the, um, by her nightwear that she had on. Just holding the. You know, front of it as I would normally do because I can't hold her too, you know, close or too hard. And you have to really be, you have to be careful. And, you know, taking her up. And my mom did not use her walking stick. She didn't ask for it. 
That's another thing. And she walks straight to the bathroom. I mean, walks straight. She's like, Ooh, look at this. Straight to the bathroom. Swinging her hands, you know. And I remember we getting into the bathroom and placing her to sit on the toilet. And she started urinating. And when she started urinating, you know, I realized that she was coming down. She was coming down on my hand because I had my hands on the, her arms, right? And she was coming down and she coming down like saying, Mom. And then she coming down more and more and more and, and, and until I just heard her <sighs> saying, God, is this it? Man, I was saying, I was saying, Mom, I was eating her face and, you know, I took a little water from the sink and I was, you know, putting it all over her face. But nothing happened. And I was saying, okay, God, all right. So I could not lift her out. So I had to just hold her upper body and, you know, just try to pull her out. I got up on the bed with her. I don't know how I got up there, but I just did. And I placed her on the bed. And that was, ah, that was how it ended for us. You know, <laughs> that's how it ended. Yes, Lord. Hmm. But I know it's not the end of me seeing her. I know it's not the end of the road. She's just asleep because having gone through so much, God saw that it was best to put her to rest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So I am grateful this morning, you know, that ah, God has taken us through, you know, so much. He has really shown himself off. He has really proven to me as well that what you ask, he will give. From you walk in his footsteps, he will answer. Yes? Ah, thank you, Father. I'm just <laughs> in awe of everything, you know? Because I am just grateful for every opportunity, every moment that we spend together, every single moment. You know, just looking back at everything. When I first saw my mom and uh, we got the diagnosis. I did not know that my mom would live. That's what I'm saying right now. Live so long. Based on the damage. Based on the many damage that her body had already gone through. And with an enlarged heart. With a partially collapsed lungs. With a collapsed spinal cord. With missing sections within the ribcage basically eaten out. Oh, my father, with a shattered sternum that became a lump. Oh, gosh. From the bones just growing and regrowing. And it's all the hand of the Almighty God. Because I was saying to my mom before, you know, everything. I said, Mom, many, many will never walk your road. Because less than all of this and they are gone. Less. You know, so I know that God has chosen me and has chosen my mom. Hence, I, I, I know that her life was, was a life well lived, you know. So I am not in any mourning and hollering this morning because I have that great hope, somebody say hallelujah in the chat, that I will see her again. And it is not the last. Because when the trumpet shall sound, hallelujah, and the dead in Christ shall rise, I know my mom will be a part <laughs> of that great getting up morning. So all I have to do now is just to live the life so that I can meet her again. So that's how it happened yesterday, you know. <laughs> and I'm just saying, oh, oh God works because he allowed it to happen like that. She went in my hands. And like, I said, mom, the same man that took care of you from the beginning of everything. You just laying them as if, you know, you were saying, I trust your arms. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm saying, you know, the song came to my mind. Oh, how sweet to rest in the arms of Jesus. 
Oh, sweet to know I'm safe from all arms. That's how, you know, we should anchor our faith and we should rest in the arms of Jesus to take care of us, especially in this time. Friends, we have to have a greater hope. There's no way we can make it without a greater hope in Christ. We cannot do it. So, you know, I just want to encourage you this morning. Just anchor your faith in Christ. Anchor your faith in him. Because the truth is, without him we are nothing. One day everything will pass. Yes, everything. I mean, what profit a man to gain the world and to lose his soul? Nothing. Yes, because when you die, you carry nothing. So, you know, that's how it happened yesterday. And man, <laughs> one of these days I, I will, you know, share with you you know, the many things that we have done and, 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 and how, you know, the journey was in, in, in more depth and detail because I have seen how it is important for us to, to live healthy, eat healthy, and even have a peace that passes all understanding. Not the peace that the world give it, but the peace that cometh exactly from the throne room of God because... There is great benefit in it. Yes. I'm telling you. It is a package and it works. And if we believe and trust and abide by the principles that God has placed on this earth for us to abide by, especially the principles of health, we will be a better people. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that. Yes. So. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I am feeling, <laughs> wow, <laughs> mm. I am feeling a little beat, I am just feeling, ah, lifted, I am just feeling a joyful spirit, I feel tired on the side, Do you know, mean, right now, <laughs> I would do well with a big vacation, you know what I'm saying, man, <laughs> But as you know, as time progresses and, you know, my funds increase, definitely, you know, I will take that vacation, needed vacation, my God. Hallelujah, amen. Man, I look forward to that. <laughs> wow. But, you know, last Sunday, last Sunday, I really thought that day, I'm telling you, was gonna be my mom's last day i saw her started you know spinning her head closing her eyes and just just like she's taking off on another level and i was saying god is this it oh my gosh i called my second mommy her name is carmen yes i called her and i said no you have to come quick i think that i i think that this is it man she said okay i'm gonna let me put on a dress fast, fast, I come in. <laughs> then I called, you know, my friend, um, Sophia, and her husband to come. Yes, man. And they came. And, you know, being there, I would sing and, you know, I, I played and, you know, they came, I would talk, I would laugh, I would just, you know, yeah, you know, enjoy the atmosphere. And, can I tell you, I saw my mom just make a turn around. And I was saying, God, look at you. I saw that morning extended grace. Living extended, I'm telling you. You know, God is amazing, you know, how he works, you know. Extended grace, I'm telling you. Yes. And my mom lived one more week. One more week. And I'm saying, God, thank you. Even for the one more week, I thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, what a God. I'm just grateful this morning, you know. Yes, I'm just grateful this morning. I am just grateful. And that morning, you know, feeling really low that morning, I said, no, but this is it. You know, I grabbed my video record and I just started, you know, worship and just recording. And I said, mom, come play the tambourine. Because we always worship, you know. I play the guitar and she plays the tambourine. 
you know, we just sing and worship and praise. Yeah, always a good worship session, I'm telling you. And I said, Mom, no man, play the tambourine. And, and, and I started to sing. We just started to worshiping. And I recorded it. And the truth is, I'm going to share it with you. So you can just have, you know, the last moments that I shared with her. So you can really be a part of it. And the truth is, I appreciate all of you being a part of the Ven Ven Music and Country Life family. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for reaching out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, on, you know, WhatsApp. Thank you all for the love and the encouragement and the empowerment. I am grateful, you know, because love and support and encouragement and motivation can never be too much. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Yes. So you have to stay tuned, you have to stay connected. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. And remember, click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my exciting, yeah, yeah, informative, yeah, country life videos. Thanks for watching. Oh my God, that's a long one, right?